Nominees for the Transitional Justice Commission and the National Communications Commission met the Speaker of the Legislature, Yoshi Kun, on Tuesday. Yo said he hoped lawmakers would vote on the nominations before the end of the month. Yo also paid tribute to his Czech counterpart, the late Yaroslav Kubera, who passed away in January before a planned visit to Taiwan. Kubera's family says that threats from China who wanted him not to visit Taiwan contributed to his sudden death. On Tuesday morning, Yo got a visit from the Executive Yuan Secretary General Li Mengyan, along with nominees for the Transitional Justice Commission and National Communications Commission. Among those were Acting Transitional Justice Chair Yang Cui and Acting NCC Chair Chen Yaoxiang. The question is when those appointments will finally be approved by lawmakers. It will be according to our schedule arrangements. Of course, personally, I am relying on the cooperation of all the parties in the Legislative Yuan. I hope the authorization can go through before the end of May. Reporters were drawn to an unusual pin on Yo's lapel. It's the flags of Taiwan and the Czech Republic, a tribute to the recently deceased former leader of the Czech Senate, Yaroslav Kubera. Yo's counterpart had defied his colleagues to announce a visit to Taiwan in 2020 before passing away in January. His widow now says that threatening letters and pressure from China increased his stress, causing his sudden death. The Czech Republic is not a diplomatic ally of Taiwan, but he was very friendly to Taiwan. His family has published some letters and documents, and so we know that he was under tremendous pressure from China. He had planned to visit Taiwan in February and promised to visit the parliament so I could meet him, which I was looking forward to immensely. Then he never came, of course, and this is why. We are extremely sorry and sad about it. He pointed to his pen. It's mainly an emblem of my high regard for the Czech Republic and in memory of Mr. Kubera. Yo added that he would like to visit Kubera's family and offer his condolences and thanks for his support for Taiwan if he ever has a chance to visit Europe.